There are many ways to create a misleading, coercive conspiracy. Yet nearly all good stories, even when mostly fictional, to upstand some level of scrutiny must contain that which is known as the kernel of truth. And these kernels can be found throughout the mountains of ancient stories, belief systems, rituals, and medicines worldwide. Found throughout ancient texts, however, interestingly, there are countless accounts of a great deluge. However, modern curriculums are not about finding the truth within these writings, but a form of conformity. We not only feel that the evidence for a flood worldwide exists, but that the pre-flood civilizations who lived through this event, claimed as secluded, primitive, small settlements, didn't venture far until a much later academically claimed dating. Regardless of this, we are now slowly exposing the truth regarding said events. Modern technologies, such as ground-penetrating radar, are now being utilized more and more. Many of these studies are finding mega-metropolises, often now resting beneath and amongst dense forests, having been revealed via this technology to have been not individual settlements, but one enormous city, some with estimated populations of 10 million people or more, facts which are in staunch opposition to modern dating paradigms. Along with ours and many others' personal, in-depth research into the technologies and knowledge of the creators and later re-inhabitants of such sites, have also been proven beyond doubt to have once had shared knowledge. Unquestionably made by people who were in global communication, endless examples of tools, masonry techniques, and artifacts are often found to have all been crafted in the same ways with matching scars found at quarries and upon megaliths worldwide. Yet these quarries, again, bring us back to our original message, that of a shared experience of catastrophe, also one of which being the Great Flood. Maybe these groups worked on huge weather-resistant stones as an attempt to face off against such enormous natural forces. Yet it would seem, although they left their mark on the globe, as our research would suggest were in vain, as they were seemingly wiped out in an instant, with many sites abandoned mid-flow during one of these events. Interestingly, not only would the evidence suggest a sudden disappearance of those responsible for many of the most extraordinary megalithic ruins, there have also been remnants found and documented within mainstream funded study which is not only indicative of a prior knowledge of this possible swelling of the seas, but an immense effort attempted to build fortresses to protect against such an event, dated as 7,000 years old. From an article titled, quote, This 7,000-year-old wall was the earliest known defense against rising seas. Lizzie Wade states, and I quote, About 7,000 years ago, seas were rising all over the world. Ice Age glaciers were melting, and the ocean crept up shorelines and toward people's homes on every inhabited continent. Now, archaeologists have discovered the earliest known defense against those rising seas. A 7,000-year-old seawall built to protect a farming village from worsening storm surges and encroaching saltwater from the Mediterranean Sea. Ultimately, however, the wall failed. It now lies drowned off the coast of Israel along with the rest of the settlement it was meant to protect." End quote. Additionally, Amy Gusick, an archaeologist at the Natural History Museum in Los Angeles, California, who studied this period around California's Channel Islands, stated, and I quote, "...all the different kinds of responses we see toward sea level rise 7,000, 8,000, 9,000 years ago, we're still seeing all of those same responses today." Discoveries such as these, not only proof of our ancient ancestors' awareness in regards to the possible dangers of rising sea levels, but supports the argument that human contributions are not as catastrophic as are currently believed by some to be. The questions regarding their origins, however, who was once responsible for such remarkable efforts, remains a mystery, one which we are determined to solve. It is a journey of discovery which we find highly compelling.